thousands of Iraqis chanting, Death to America, on Saturday mourned the death of Iranian commander Qasem Soleimani and others killed in the U.S. drone attack that has sparked fears of a regional proxy war between Washington and Tehran. The killings on Friday were the most dramatic escalation, yet in spiraling tensions between Iran and the United States which pledged to send thousands more troops to the region. Iraqi political leaders and clerics attended the mass ceremony to honor 62-year-old Soleimani. Iraqi paramilitary chief Abu Mahdi al-Muhandis and the other eight killed in the pre-dawn attack on Baghdad International Airport, Prime Minister Adil Abdul Mahdi and Iraqi militia commander Hadi al-Amiri. A close Iran ally and the top candidate to succeed Muhandis, attended. U.S. President Donald Trump said on Friday he had decided to terminate Iran's military mastermind to prevent an imminent attack on U.S. diplomats and troops. We took action last night to stop a war. We did not take action to start a war, he insisted. But the strike which killed four more members of Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps IRGC, and five members of Iraq's Hashd al-Shabi paramilitary network, infuriated Iran, whose ambassador to the United Nations, Majid Takhravanchi, called it an act of war by its arch enemy. On Saturday, Gola Ali Abu Hamza, a senior IRGC commander, said Tehran would punish Americans, wherever they're in reach, and raise the prospect of possible attacks on ships in the Gulf.